Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Bork. In today's video, we'll be covering the future roadmap for Konosuba Fantastic Days, otherwise known as the Summer Campaign. And if you enjoyed today's video and if it helps you out, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. You can see the next couple of events showing up. So let's go ahead and talk about it. And this is going to be a timeline roadmap sort of thing by Keystar as well. He organized it so that we can see which banners go to which events. So for example, the next event we're going to be getting is going to be the Bounty Hunt event with Mia as a free character. I believe that's her name. And if you jump over here, you can see she's a welfare unit and a welfare unit means that she's going to be absolutely for free. So we're going to be getting some free units as we're jumping into this. And just note, there is going to be a free swimsuit character in the future. And let's go ahead and talk about this event. So we don't know too much. Just note that there's an octopus over here, but not to mention this banner is going to be providing you a swimsuit darkness. And we're just going to cover a couple of characters while we're going through the events because we don't know what's going to be happening operations wise but i'm pretty sure it's going to be like troll attack where we're fighting a boss of some sort and we have like our units right so what's really nice about this version of darkness while she does miss is that she is going to be attracting the enemies and she's going to be increasing her physical defense and magic defense for 20 seconds and not to mention she is going to be increasing the defense of allies and also increasing their agility so increasing agility is fairly important if you were to pick a version of darkness that was actually useful i would say this is definitely the one because she can take some damage she can give you some agility she can increase your defense and not to mention she can reduce physical attack damage if you leave her in your sub slot so overall i think she is probably one of the better versions of darkness and not to mention you get a swimsuit skin because she's going to be a four star version so this can actually show in game which is really nice so for anyone who is a darkness fan if you are trying to look for a version of darkness that's really amazing and not to mention very nice to have as a waifu connoisseur feel free free to save up for this banner right in the next coming weeks or probably days. So the next banner looking over through the events is going to be the big swimsuit adventure as you can see right here. Now with the big swimsuit adventure, this is actually the banner that you want to save for. We're going to be getting this welfare unit right here. I believe this is swimsuit Leah if I'm getting her name correctly. If not, you guys can correct me down in the comments. But just note that swimsuit Aqua is actually absolutely insane. She is one of the few units that has this ability right here a medium up to special skill gauge of all allies that is going to be broken not to mention she has a heal and she has a 338 percent physical damage to one enemy so that is going to be a neutral light hit so it's not going to be you know oh i need to use like a dark hit or whatever so even though she's gonna be i believe like a water type of some sort right she oh no she's gonna be a lightning type she is still going to be able to deal some normal damage but the biggest thing is that she can increase special skill gauge so that means you can get your i guess ultimates off faster which is really nice so in my opinion if there's any banner to save for right now like comparatively to all of these i think the swimsuit big adventure is definitely going to be the one just because of swimsuit aqua having the ability to increase special skill gauge out of everyone so let's go ahead and keep going through the events and the next one is going to be this pajama event that you can see right there so this event is going to be providing a pajama version of darkness now looking over this event it looks looks pretty chill but I was looking over the characters as well nothing crazy like swimsuit aqua because swimsuit aqua is just on another level as far as utility but let's go ahead and cover some of the characters right here oh wait we missed one we got to talk about Wiz right here swimsuit Wiz is also going to be another four star character that's going to be in the events I'm sure some of you guys are going to be curious how she performs just looking over her really quickly she's not going to be too crazy because she's going to be providing some heals to herself just note that you can't actually heal her because if you heal her she's actually going to die because she's a lich and she's going to be doing some lightning magic damage some magic defense down and she has magic attack up for her sub slot skill so overall she's decent but she's not as crazy as you know summer aqua but let's go ahead and jump into her other version her pajama version now her pajama version is okay medium up to magic attack 223 percent dark damage and dark damage overall and then she has like water damage up to all enemies i guess her ultimate but she's a really weird character i wouldn't say she's is terrible but i wouldn't call her like a must pull but just note that she's going to be getting an in-game different skin because it's a four star version of her any four star unit essentially gets a different in-game skin during combat so if i were to compare like her swimsuit version to her pajama version to be honest uh, it's kind of weird because i would say the pajama version is just a little bit better because she can you know do magic defense and she can heal herself not a lot of people can essentially heal whiz in my opinion it's really not good to pull for her 
her if you're trying to go for meta purposes but overall she is going to be decent for what she does it's just weird that she's not dealing you know actual water damage but let's go ahead and look at megamine in her pajama version now when i was looking at her she does still have explosion so she's still going to be doing that as her skills and she's going to be doing some dark damage and magic defense down personally speaking i guess if you want a dark version of megamine then this is one to pull for but just note that her ultimate is still going to be explosion she's still going to incapacitate herself but maybe you want like a pajama skin of megamine then i guess you could go for this banner as well i'm not sure if this is going to be combined i feel like it's going to be combined same thing with this banner with swimsuit aqua and swimsuit wiz and i believe like swimsuit darkness she's going to be her own thing this might be three star union because that doesn't look like aru in my opinion but those are going to be a couple of banners right there and then finally jumping back into the last event which is going to be this troll attack or troll attack fighting dancer shooting event you can see that cecily i believe that's going to be her this one right here casino 1a is going to be a possible banner for this particular time frame i'm not sure how cecily is related to troll attack or how this casino event is related to troll attack but i'm just going to go ahead and trust keystar and look over it personally speaking cecily is a hodgepodge of characters by that i mean she has like the non-elemental and magic defense down her attacks are going to be like earth magic damage and physical defense down she's just like all over the place that's why cecily's kind of weird to use she is going to have like some recovery in that sense but in my opinion casino event right here with the first banner is not really that worth it if we get like this one with like iris this casino 1b event this is going to be really good but it hasn't been announced yet all right so these are the only ones that have been announced up to the point of darkness right here but you know if we don't get like the iris version of this the casino 1b then we can sort of wait for another time frame just summing things up and looking over all of the events that was provided by CM Tier during his live stream on Twitch. It really seems to be that Swimsuit Aqua is the unit that you really want to pull for just because she has that special gauge increase and not to mention she's going to be providing some heals so if you need a healer she's going to be one to look out for. Everyone else they seem sort of average if not like waifu if you want them because you're like oh I have a dedication to Wiz so I need to pull for Wiz or oh I have a dedication to Darkness then I want to pull for Darkness or I want a version of Mega mean where she has a different skin then you go for that one so personally speaking that's the way i want us to view these banners but from meta perspective aqua is definitely the character that you're going to want to pull for overall when it comes to this this is a huge outlook on what's going to be coming and just note we're going to be getting plenty of quartz plenty of events and it's probably going to be very similar to like the troll attack event which just ended which we talked about right and it's going to have like that store which you can still access and don't forget you're probably still going to want the unique skill potions you're going to want to clear out the skill potions and then you're going to want to get all like the little bits i'm pretty sure it's going to provide like some stamina stakes and like upgrade gear but overall i'm really excited i can't believe they released this much information as far as like the events are going to be coming but yeah definitely go for the swimsuit aqua like i keep saying if you want to be more efficient with your courts and then after that i would probably save if we get like this casino 1b character of iris because this version of iris is actually pretty good and overall like these welfare units are just going to be really nice to have because we can max them out so we're going to have like a really strong water welfare unit a really strong lightning unit and a really strong fire unit but yeah if you've made it this far in today's video consider subscribing dropping a like leaving a comment follow me on twitch follow me on twitter once we hit 27,500 subs we'll be doing a giveaway i'm super hyped for this summer campaign because this is all just amazing stuff coming to konosuba fantastic days thanks so much have yourself a fantastic day and i will see you in the next one.